Okay, so this is the type of braiding hair that I'm going to be using. It's from Sensational, and it already comes stretched and feathered and all that good stuff, and it comes three in a pack, and I used two full packs of the hair. And this is the hair I'm using to make it curly. This is a deep twist in 14 inches. If you honestly just have some crochet hair just laying around, you can probably use it because I barely even used any of this. And then I'm using some shine and jam just to smooth everything out. So with the Connecticut hair, I'm splitting each of those little, um, one of the three sections that comes in the pack. I split each one. It makes about 16 braids. So that's the bigger chunk. And then the smaller chunk I'm going to be using as well. But I just kind of grabbed that from the pack. And then this is how much crochet hair I'll be using. Even the bunch that I have in this video is more than you really need for each braid, which is why I'm saying if you have some extra ones um, laying around, you can just use that. So this is how I sectioned my hair. I sectioned it in five sections. And I've already done the majority of my hair once I started braiding. And honestly, some of my hair in the back looks a little bit rough, but that's okay. So all I'm doing you know, for this first section is I'm just going to part my hair right in the middle. Um, this section is going to make two different rows. So I'm just parting it in half and then I'm going to use some of the shine and jam to help define my parts. I only define my parts in the front of my hair. The back is not defined at all. My parts look kind of horrible honestly in the back but this is not a tutorial so yeah anyway so once I have it parted I'm just going to section off and make my little square so that I'm ready to braid and then I'm just going to section off the rest of my hair again I could really care less about the parts um, and then I'm using some shine and jam again at the base of my hair and then I'm just going to start braiding and I braid down about like an inch and then I just feed in the thicker piece of hair and I don't really know how to feed in hair so I literally just connect it to the two outer pieces of my hair and just braid down and then once I've braided for about another inch then I go ahead and add that smaller piece and that smaller piece is about like a third I would say of the first piece and this just helps to for one add a strand of hair to the strand of my own hair that does not have any hair connected to it and then also to make the braids a little bit longer because I did want them pretty long. So I'm just braiding down and I add some more shine and jam to my hair at the ends just so that they don't stick out. Then I also grab some hair from the bigger section and put it with the smaller section so that each of the three strands of the Conecolon hair is about the same and one isn't like thicker than the other. So I literally just braid all the way down. This style is very, very chill. At least the way that I'm doing it, it doesn't have to be perfect and that's kind of how I wanted it. So yeah, I'm just braiding down and then once I get pretty close to the bottom, I'm going to add in the crochet hair and once I get pretty close to the end as you can see I have about two three inches I guess of hair that I'm going to stop at and then I'm just going to add the crochet hair and I'm adding the crochet hair the same way that I added in the connecticut hair just adding it to the two outer pieces of the braiding hair Again, I don't know how to feed in hair the proper way, so yeah, but this honestly works. So, yeah, so I'm just going to add that in, continue to braid. You do want to braid the crochet hair in pretty far, or you want to wrap a piece around so that it doesn't unravel and, like, come out, because some of my braids, I definitely didn't braid down far enough, and the hair came out. Well, the, the curly hair came out so you just want to make sure that you break down far enough so that it doesn't or like I said tie a knot or something so that it doesn't unravel so that is how the hair looks when I'm done again it's not perfect but it's what I was going for for this style so that's pretty much it for how I did the braid and then I just continued that over the rest of my hair 
Um, I've seen a lot of tutorials. I watched a ton of tutorials. A ton of tutorials. All right, to do this hairstyle, and a lot of people do the knotless to actually look like regular box braids. So they honestly just braid their own hair like maybe once and then they immediately pretty much add in the braiding hair and they look like regular box braids just without the knot and that's not what I was going for I wanted a more natural looking hairstyle something that looks more I don't know another word other than natural and is more like flat I guess if you can say so um, that's not really what I was going for was that actual box braid look I was looking for just regular looking braids with some curly hair at the end so yeah I followed one person's um tutorial the most because most people did have that style of like looking more so like box braids which again which I wasn't going for so I can't remember her name but I'll leave it down below and I pretty much used the same stuff that she used in that video so I'm just going to let the clips run and then I'll be back at the end. So this is how it looked once I was done. As you can see, I left my edges out um, in the front just to make it easier for me to like lay them down as well as so that my hair wouldn't be pulling or anything. These braids are super, super light and you can do so many styles with them. I'm really in love with them. I also added some mousse when I was done to the top and then also added mousse to the crochet hair so that it would... I don't know, it's kind of be tamed a little bit. And then I also trim the hair. You can't see how long it is since the clip is kind of cut off. But um, the hair was pretty long, so I did cut off probably like two, three, maybe four inches of the crochet hair at the bottom. So yeah, so this is it a few days later. And like I said, I was able to easily swoop my edges and all that good stuff. And I've been getting so many compliments on this hair. So yeah, that's about it. Um, anything that I mentioned in this video will be down below in the description box. If you guys enjoyed this video or want to try out these braids on yourself, please comment below and also give this video a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified every time that I post. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye guys.